Hello and welcome back to the channel. I am about to share with you some of the most shocking content that some of you will ever see. Uh, this shocking confession will blow your mind and we tried to tell you before, um, I continue to quote this one scripture uh, that says that we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against the rulers of darkness of this world against principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness in high and low places. There's a reason why I continue to use that passage of scripture because I need you to understand that it doesn't matter what body you are dealing with, what flesh and blood person you are dealing with. Some of the things that people say and do is a direct connection to the dark world, dark powers, principalities, rulers of darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in high and low places. So many times a person will say, well, that person didn't know what they were saying or they didn't know what they were doing or they didn't understand what they were saying. So again, it doesn't matter what they know or understand. The fight or the struggle is not with that, that flesh and blood, but against the powers of darkness that operates in people, both young and old, white and black, male and female. None of that matters. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? So for those of you who may look at this and you draw the conclusion that because a person is a certain age, uh, that they couldn't know any better. I remember some time ago, and I'm gonna share a video clip with you all in just a moment. But I remember some time ago, I shared a video of an old woman that was um, uh, close to 100 years old. And she was saying some very derogatory, um, tripped out, disgusting words. And there were those who believed that because of her age and the fact that uh, she was senile or whatever, uh, that her words and her actions should have been excused. Those are the very people who didn't understand that that woman who was saying these things was under the influence of demonic suggestion. So even if you want to call it dementia or you want to call it whatever you want to call it, it still means that something was able to take hold of her body and produce that type of reaction or response in her. And so the content I'm about to share with you right now is a young child. Um, I've censored out their face and everything, but what they are saying is absolutely shocking and should not be ignored. This person, this young person have some serious problems that need to be dealt with. See, some of you would say that they need some medication, but th they need an exorcism. And you, you may not agree with me, but how many times have we heard of situations where uh, a 10 year old is being tried as an adult for a heinous crime of murder? Because somebody down the line uh, determined that they're too young to know what they're doing or they don't understand what they're doing or wh what they, they're saying. They don't understand what they're saying because they're too young. Only foolish people think like that at this point. Demons are operating in any and everybody that they please if the environment allows for that. Anyway, take a listen at this shocking content and I will be right back. But before I, before I share this with you, no need to flood the comment section with saying you're not shocked by it, okay? I'm talking about those who don't understand that these kinds of things are happening. There are a lot of people who don't realize that these kinds of things are happening. So therefore to them, this is new information, okay? If you are already in the know about these things, I'm glad to hear it. But this is for those who need to know that there is a darkness present in this world that cannot be ignored. Take a listen at this and I will be right back. What do you want to be when you grow up? A murderer because I like killing. My brain tells me if I like killing or not. I like killing because um, when I first watched my grown up killing show, um, myself started to like killing and then 
my brain started to like tell me what to do with killing in it. So okay. I like murders and I like killing in my life. I'm gonna okay. kill everybody in the world except for my family because they just didn't do anything to me. I just like killing. So So just any type of person, it doesn't matter. What about me? Yeah. Even me? Well, not even my teachers either. Okay, because I'm the first person that you told this. Am I? Yeah? So, I just like killing. So what are you going to be again when you grow up? A murderer. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay. So here you have this very young individual making the confession that when they grow up, they want to be a murderer. And they are very clear on, on their intentions. But yet you still have those who are gonna say he doesn't know what he's saying, or he doesn't understand what he's saying. See, what you don't understand is it doesn't matter what he understands. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. I keep trying to tell y'all this. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. Our struggle or our battle is not with flesh and blood but with principalities and powers, the rulers of darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in high and low places. In other words, there are people who are occupied, people who are giving, giving in to thoughts. This young man, this, this young person says that their mind tells them to murder. But yet some of you all would still pass it off as, oh, it's no big deal. Even though we continue to see case after case where children very young are committing heinous acts, you still have those who are willingly, willfully ignorant, refusing to believe what is right before their eyes. This young person says that he wants to eliminate everybody except for his family and his teachers and the young woman who was interviewing him. He wants to lay hands on everybody. That is a satanic thought, but there was enough presence of mind to say, not my family or my teacher or you. Only because the young lady asked. The presence of mind was there, but yet some people still refuse to believe Despite all of the crazy, heinous, wicked things we see happening on this planet, some people will still shovel it off as, oh, that's oh, so innocent. He's so innocent. He doesn't know what he's saying. He doesn't know any better. It's the foolishness of the minds of people all around the world that continues to allow evil to spread from the cradle to the grave. So the next time y'all hear me say we wrestle not against flesh and blood, when y'all hear me say that, understand that people are occupied and that there is a greater presence of demonic infiltration in this day and age than there ever was. There is an increase in demonic possession and infiltration than there ever was. Demons are speaking to people left and right like 90 going west. This is why we see all of this wickedness unfolding. But some people are still going to stay blind. We tried to tell y'all that this is what's going on out here. I hope some of you will open up your eyes and ears and understand that demonic activity is going to increase. Open your eyes and pay attention. Open your eyes and pay attention. It's only going to increase. Put your head on a swivel naturally and spiritually. Meaning in the spirit realm, you pay attention to any thought, any activity. When you go out in public, you're around people, in your own household, in your community, in your church house, I don't care where you go. Wherever you are, you pay attention to the activities around you spiritually as well as naturally. This stuff is no joke, y'all. Don't think that this is some cute little video of some kid who didn't know better. 
If you want to think that, whether you will hear or forbear is up to you. But the truth is what it is, whether you like it or not. The truth will always be. I'm done with this video. Um, light it up in the comment section. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. With that, I'm out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.